All right, shalom, shalom, YouTube. I'm Mitch back here with another video. We're out here with Dan, Pastor Daniel. We're out here with all the rest of the Goshen Saints is what we're out here doing. Uh, we've been talking to Pastor Dan here for the last uh, few months. We actually came up. Um, when did we come up with Pastor? Like in the summer, right? We passed out and oh. right now we came up. That was right before the feast. Right before the say. feast? Weeks, okay. Yeah. So about a month, a yeah, about few a month, months, few yeah. months before the feast. So we came up. We helped them kind of deal with this footer situation that they had going on. And from that time, you know, they've they've done a lot of work. They've actually built it up to what we call grade. It's what they did as far as uh, the blocks go. And uh, then they did backfilling. There was there was a huge trench right here. They backfilled. They have, they have a compactor. They were able to compact it down. They actually backfilled on the interior as well. And they brought this pad up to where we could do a four inch pad. All right. So that's what we came here to do uh, today. We showed up yesterday, kind of shored up everything, checked the rebar, uh, checked on center. We uh, made sure we had a transit set up over there and we were checking grade uh, as far as making sure the rebar wasn't sticking out. And uh, I believe it was pretty successful, would you say? Yeah, All things considered, right? Yeah. All things considered. Our first pour, this is a, this is a big old slab as y'all can see. Mm -hmm. and as you said, all things considered, I think it came out well. I was just telling me. Nah. It looks good. It, it looks good. And considering there's eight courses on the ground. Mm -hmm. This is eight courses. You feel like you this. learned a lot? Absolutely. Absolutely. I was over there looking at the runners and everything that we did before. And I'm like, it was so much different from the first time Chef yeah. was here and he was like, hey, lay this block. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm way more comfortable there. Totally different. Totally different now. I just want to continue to learn and get these corners and piers right. And, uh, yeah, but the pad, we learned a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Our next pad will be just as wide as our uh, yeah. screen machine. Okay. Nothing wider than that. <laughs> and that's always it for that chicken, for that uh, meat bird coop. Yeah. But I feel like learning what we, the mistakes we did on the footer and learning the mistakes we've done on this pad and just so many different things. There's a lot of mistakes we'll along the way that right. you can learn from. That we can learn from. And exactly. And it can be better. And this is... This has came out, you know, in, in my opinion, it came out well for our first time. Oh, it is. And Absolutely. once the building is done, like I said, you guys will be able to do more and more buildings uh, with ease. Yes, sir. You know, and y'all will. Y'all get to a point where y'all go help others. Hey, I'm with that. Like hey. paying forward, like Pastor yes, was saying? Yes, sir. All yes, right. Sir. Hallelujah. We're going to go to Holly Elder. All right. Glory to the King. What's up, guys? Talk to the people. Yeah. How we feel? We feel feel awesome now. Oh yeah, awesome <laughs> yeah, now. It, it was it was a task. How was it during? Uh, it was a lot of lessons was learned today. Okay. A lot of lessons learned today. Great instruction, great teaching, and a lot of uh, willing willing hands. So it was, it was awesome. But the, the process is is <laughs> a process. It's, it's the process. Exactly. So ain't no ain't no getting around it. So hallelujah. Glory to the King. Indeed, indeed, yeah. indeed. Patty. Yes, sir. It's I was we. Was, crazy because elder just asked me the same thing and i was uh -huh. like it's a lot like you said it's a lot of information but it, i enjoyed it yeah I, I thoroughly enjoyed it i enjoyed the, the process of just learning it because now it's so good to have like people in front of us to show us the yeah. right way mm -hmm. so we, we don't have to go through the same troubles that y'all had to go through yeah. to learn it yeah you know what i mean so yeah it, it was hallelujah it was really Really edifying. Indeed, man. Indeed. Y'all think y'all could have done this without us? Uh, no. I, 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 no. No, sir. I, I thank y'all for sending you here. And also, uh, I, I was just saying, man, I'm 41. 40, 41 years old, just not learning this stuff. Yeah. And uh, I just, all, all I can think about is our, the next generation. Exactly. How much further along. You can teach your son this now. They don't have to unlearn nothing. Exactly. So it's just, just pouring into them, pouring into them. So they can just be <laughs> taken off. Exactly. You know? how much further along they will be Absolutely. because they have the ones in front of them and, and their father in order to teach them, right? That's it. That's it. Exactly. That's it. Humble yourself and just, and just learn. Learn. <laughs> learn. <laughs> Teachable learn. spirit. Teachable spirit. Indeed, indeed. We're going to go holler at Lee. All right. So we got Leo. So pretty much what I've done is uh, when I got here, I, had, I picked out a few men here at Goshen is what I did to, you can see you got uh, Deacon uh, Samuel over there, he's over there cleaning and power washing at Power Street right now. You got Pastor Daniel there. You got Brother Dre, he was out, he's been in and out. Of course, you got Elder Rob, you got Petty here. Uh, you got Brother Lee, he's out here. And so what I did is I picked a few different brothers to do certain things on the pad. Like I had certain brothers screeding. I had certain brothers uh, mag floating, uh, establishing the edge. I had a few brothers 
um, uh, rake is what I had for you guys doing. Then I had Elder Rob up on this bull float for like pretty much all morning. Once we had enough space to our bull float, I had Elder Rob on. And then uh, I had Teacher Greg here and also got Brother Joseph down there and Terrence, my brother down there, here to also help out and show people where they're getting off, where they're going wrong at, whatever the case may be. And so I'm not gonna disturb Lee because he busy, he working. How that, how that bull flow going? Getting better. better? All right, good. Well, keep going, I ain't gonna disturb you, just keep moving. Uh -huh. So, and now the last thing to do is this power trial. This is what we're gonna do. And you see what I, I'm real anal about the process and the manage, the management of the project. So, like I said, I have a few different people in a few different areas doing different things. And I have what they call a magnesium screed board. And I had them start with that because I wanted them to feel the pad is what I wanted them to do. We tried doing the power screed initially, but it was too wet. I said, let's bring out the actual screed board. And I had them start by hand, touching, feeling that concrete, seeing how to move it, seeing how soft it is, how hard it is, or whatever the case may be. Uh, bend over, I mean, I'm screeding, pulling that concrete. That's, I wanted them to feel it. And so, the reason for these paint marks is, uh, I do what they call wet pads. Um, and so, I'm gonna just explain it over here. So, the orange is 10 feet. So, we pull 10 feet from the end of the block, or the, or the inside of the block, over 10 feet. And we, we spray paint a mark. So, I'll go into the pad in there, and I'll meet up with that other orange mark over there. I'll kind of look that way, look this way, and I know where to do my wet pad at. Then we'll take that screed board by hand and we'll just make like a, a foot, two foot pathway right here. Boom, nice and flat. I uh, use the transit to make that wet pad that was set up over here. So it's nice and level with the edge of this block. And then we come up here and we screed back that way. And I had them screed back this whole thing by hand. And then we came here, we did this whole thing by hand. And then after that, of uh, the rest of the rest of the way, I, I used the uh, power screeds. What I did, and now the yellow marks. That's what the yellow marks are for. They're 14 feet on center. So what I did was, after they screeded uh, this 10 foot section, that's 20 feet. The rest of the 30 feet we did with the uh, power screed. But what I did instead was, is I uh, measured in 14 feet. I did like a two foot um, path for a. Uh, a, uh, a wet pad and then I screed it back 14 feet went on the other side screed it back 14 feet because they mag about two feet foot right here and they mag about a foot or two over there and then I do like two foot in the middle so 14 feet you got 32 feet across I'm able to go one sweep and then go on the other side another one sweep and I'm done so right now we're, we're just gonna continue to bull float we're gonna continue to get it nice and smooth and flat as we can and we're gonna come on with this power uh, this power trial and we're waiting we're gonna start it here and work our way back hallelujah so it's a joy to come and just help the saints right now you know we uh as pastor would say i'm on a spending freeze right now man in uh kentucky so um we're gonna be a presence wherever in the ministry wherever you know is a need wherever they need some hands at we're just gonna uh do our best to get to these communities and just give a helping hand so if there's work going on we'll do our best to make ourselves available uh to go out there and just get it in and dan has been we've been talking since before the feast since the last time i was here about coming back to help them with this pad uh somebody else may come back and help them with these corners and you know and of course some may have to come back and help them with the roof but this is why it just pays to read these books like the shepherd has said uh for years on end i used to go to pastor's house uh years and years ago i was maybe 28 years old uh, 26 years old and i used to go to pastor Dow's house and and i you know hey how'd you do what you do how'd you do how'd you learn and how how did you get proficient in what you guys got got proficient in and we got youtube you know uh but he talked about the old ways and he actually would sit down with a book and then he had some then you have people like elder doug becker that you can learn from and uh, as long as you have a teachable spirit, of course you can learn. So, and most of my foundation work, most of the, all the footers I've done, all the paths I've done, all the block laying I've done, I've learned from Straightway True Ministry, from the hub by Pastor Dow, literally is what I've done. Then I've added to my talents by uh, gleaning off of Elder 
Elder Becker. I've actually gleaned from Brother Brett and, and how he's done some things. Brother Scott, I mean, Brother Bud. I mean, all these guys at the hub, man, I've been able to glean from and take something from them and apply it to my own uh, perspective place, which is Straightway Kentucky East. So um, it's been a joy to come. It, it, it's a beautiful thing to come be a helper to the Saints, man. And uh, literally, it feels really nice because at the end of the day, pass it down, people like, and, and everyone from the hub has literally gone out to help other communities do work. I've seen Brother Jonathan, he's down there helping Alabama, or well, that's where he's at. And I think he went to help Tennessee, Brother Rasan and them. I've seen Elder Chris Paul, he's gone around different communities helping. And so now I feel like, hey, we know enough now, Frederick, Kentucky East, to where we can actually branch out and go and assist other communities and their prospective places in getting these buildings up and getting foundations for it, and pouring slabs, and framing, and roofing, and electrical, and solar. We do solar as well. Uh, so, anyway, I'm pretty happy about it. And uh, that's gonna pretty much conclude this video, man. Uh, and, I, and I'm not letting none of them get in the way. They all stand out here, and they touching everything. I'm making sure they touch it all, and they all gonna touch this power trial. what they gonna do, every last one of them. I'm gonna get them on it, is what I'm gonna do, before I leave, because the more that they know, the better off it is for us. Hallelujah. What's up, T? Check my fans, sir. All right, hallelujah. Joe, how'd it go? What I can tell, overall, it's good. Except for one spot, it's a little hot. Oh, it's a little hot where? Where we got stuck at for a while. Okay, we about to go We about to go deal with it then. Yes, Greg, Teach, Hi, sir. what's up? Wonderful. All right. I enjoy myself. Uh, I know one thing, they, they enjoy learning. Yeah. They're going to implement it. They got, te they got teachable spirits, man. Hallelujah. So, all right, we're going to go knock this hump down. What's wrong?